So are you ready? It's five o'clock and it's Wednesday. So that means we are officially over halfway through the work week. Isn't that great? So we've all made it half the week again, or a little bit more than half the week, three out of five days, three out of five is not bad. Almost getting to the work, the end of the work week, weekend time, which is fun time. Hey, Kimberly, see you over there. I have some short necklaces and long necklaces today. So we've got a nice mixture of necklaces. Since we did the whole show on earrings last night, we're not going to have any earrings today. I do have a couple hair bows thrown in um, just in case somebody's looking for hair accessories. So I've got a few of those thrown in. We had some new stuff come in. So that's pretty exciting. And then I pulled out some old favorites as well. Some things we haven't shown in a little while. So You'll get to see those. Some of you will be seeing them for the first time because you've joined me since the last time I, show, I showed them. Hi, Marjorie. So they'll be new to you. <laughs> I put in a huge order um, yesterday. So in about three weeks, we are going to get a humongous box. And I did that to save a little bit of money because they gave me some extra pieces and they did it without, they did free shipping. So I ordered more pieces all at once than I normally do. I normally order little bits at a time, but this time I had a little incentive to order more. So it only made sense to do that. So let's see, Kimberly and Marjorie, let's see, there's a couple other people on. I don't know who they are yet. If you're on and you haven't said hi, say hi. How many of you'd like to get discounts or use coupons on things, get it the cheapest that you can? Does that appeal to you? Because that appeals to me. Hi, hi, mom. Hi, Marlo. Oh, you're getting rain. Hi, Leticia. So I love to get discounts. And that was one of the things that drew me to paparazzi as a company, just as a customer, because I was going to other stores and I was spending, we won't, we won't talk about actual numbers, we'll talk about round numbers, probably 15 to $20. If I went to the cheap store, it might be 10 on my jewelry. So I was pretty excited to find out that I could get these accessories for $5. And they're actually a little bit better quality than what I was buying or similar quality, depending on where I was buying it. So that made me happy. I can save money. That means either I can have more pieces or I just have more money. Either way is good for me. So I started buying it and then I had never thought about sales as a job, although I was looking for a job at the time. So I decided, hey, if I'm buying this stuff and I'm not even a jewelry fanatic, uh, I probably am more now because I get to see everything and it excites me. But um, I decided if I was buying it, everybody else would too, right? And that appealed to me as a price point because when you're with a lot of these direct sales company, the product can be priced pretty high. It just depends on what you're selling. So I loved the fact that I could offer this to everybody. I was excited to find low price accessories that were still nice quality and nice looking. So I wanted to be able to share it with everybody else. And that's how I came to paparazzi instead of getting an office job. <laughs> Can't beat it, right? I get to sit here in my desk chair, in my room with my air conditioning, with my drinks and my snacks and <laughs> you know, and I get to talk to my friends. So it took me a little while to get comfortable with the lives, but we're here now and it has gotten better. Like all of us, you know, we, we had trouble getting used to Zoom. Well, I had trouble getting used to doing this too. It's a similar thing. So now I'm used to being on the camera and I don't even care. Hi Violet, hi Marlo. And Miss Susie Q over there, that's Sharon. She's on Instagram. So we got Kimberly and Sharon on Instagram. Let's go ahead and get started. This really cute piece is Diva Dazzle. I love this one. It is set in gold and we have the rhinestones. They're white rhinestones. We have a teardrop down at the bottom. And then we have some smaller round ones scattered throughout this piece. This is a Y-shaped piece. I love these. They go great with a V-neck top or just, um, what do they call that? A crew neck, the one that is kind of round up across here. So the earrings for it are the white rhinestones in the gold setting on a fish hook back. 
this is a, one of the little more daintier, more dainty pieces that we carry. So this one, I put her, her collar up at her collarbone so you have a point of reference. So that where her collar is sitting would be your collarbones. This one just barely shows a little bit of that collar right in the groove of that Y. But you have a two inch extension on here. So if you wanted it to hang a little bit lower, you could use that extension that's going to put that Y right about here with that little pendant hanging off of it. So it will sit right here above the cleavage, so right above your bust. I do have two of these available. Now you get to see it close up. Diva Dazzle. And this is in gold. This is going to be piece number one tonight. Caitlin, are you looking confused? <laughs> She's looking confused because she can't figure out where the, the box is. It's behind the boards, probably, to put all the things in. All right, this one I only have one left of. So the other ones have been claimed. This one is Shimmering Seashores in gold. And it gets that name because this little round piece in the pendant here has that... Um, what do they call it? Pearlescent or mother of pearl type finish on it. So it looks like white seashell in that center. Hey, Nita. Glad, good to see you. It's set in gold. So it has a gold frame around it. It has the fine gold chain on it. And then the earrings are the fine gold chain tassels. They're on a fish hook back. And I've got one caught on my finger here. There we go. <laughs> Had my finger on it. This one hangs about half an inch below the collar. So with your two inch extension, let me move this camera for Instagram just a little bit. There we go. With your two inch extension, you're going to be able to bring that down about here. So again, sitting in the top of the cleavage area, we all know that's valuable real estate. Location, 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 right? So it's a good place to catch attention. This is Shimmering Seashores in gold. Just one of these available. And it's number two. Now you can see, Kimberly. Always let me know if you can't see. Linda kind of gets in the way um, because of the wheels on my chair. So I kind of have to reposition every once in a while. How's everybody doing up there in New York, Nita? All right, this one is called Mel Melting Ice Caps in white. So I like that they put the three different opacities in this one. So on our bottom, we have the fully opaque white pear-shaped beads. Then our second level, this is the semi-transparent. They're kind of milky or maybe like a frosted appearing bead. And then the third one, the top one, is completely transparent. So those are the crystal type. And they're all the pear-shaped beads. Yes, I saw your pictures. I saw that you got to have company. That's great. The earrings are the opaque white pear-shaped beads on a fish hook back. Hi, Shannon. I do have two of these available. It's not going to show up as well on Linda. That's the breaks of the game because she has white shirt on. So just a little bit peeks up out of the top of this collar. But if you use your two inch extension, you can bring that down to about here, which is going to make it end right here on the bust. So you'll have mid chest to bust length rather than collar to bust if you want to use that extension. So this one, you actually can probably see it against my skin a little bit better than Linda, melting ice caps in white. And this one is number three. Since we're on white, let's go ahead and do this one. I have three of these available. They are white opaque beads paired with oversized polished silver beads. 
So this makes a nice statement piece. Plus, I like the white because between white and silver, you can wear it with pretty much anything. So white complements a lot of different colors. You can wear it with a lot of things. Sometimes we have bright colored clothes during the summer. So white is a nice contrast to those bright colors. I'm thinking against a bright pink or a bright blue, this would be gorgeous. The earrings are the opaque white beads. I love the fish hook backs. On the fish hook back, this is the length. So this is a nice length. It goes down almost to the bust all by itself. Let me put this behind me. That's a little easier. There we go. Linda's kind of leaning today. I think she's been into my wine. Not sure what you do with a mannequin who gets into your wine when you're not looking. This one's right above the bust. With the two-inch extension, you can bring it down here. It will be on the bust. So this one is Top Pop. Top Pop. It is in white. We have three of these. Hi, Liz. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. This is number four. Number five. This one I have a matching bracelet for. It's a new release and I couldn't resist it because this is kind of a corally colored orange, which is always nice to have in our sub summer wardrobes because we tend to wear coral pretty much every year, right? When it comes summertime. So this one has opaque beads. They have the milky or cloudy beads. So these are not just the semi-transparent, they actually have like milky streaks in them. Hi, Ruth. And then completely transparent beads as well, still in those coral colors. They have these milky beads in between them as spacers. The earrings are also those milky swirl beads in that coral color on a fish hook back. I have four of these necklaces available. I have three of the matching bracelets, which I'll show you in just a second. This one's about two inches below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring it down here to sit right at the bust line. The matching bracelet has those same exact beads. Let's see them up a little closer now. This is a stretch bracelet. So it will fit a variety of wrist sizes. I do have three of the bracelets. So four of the necklace, three of the bracelet. Just let me know which piece or pieces that you want if you claim this number so that we can give you the right thing. This one is number five. All right, so now it's time to play Family Feud. That's the fun part, right? So let me get our Family Feud things together here. I don't know what I did with it. I really hate it when they do that to me. They lost my bookmarks. All right, let me just pull out the cards. That's just as easy. All right. Let's take answer number take answer number five on this one. There's six possible answers. We'll take answer number five. Name a flower you recognize by its shape. A flower you recognize by its shape. What do you think? So we're looking for the fifth most popular answer to win this question. We have six possible answers. Plus you, you guys always come up with some good ones that they missed. Rose was number two. Daisy was number three. Oh, peony is good. They didn't put that one on there. Tulip is number one. That's a super easy one, right? Lily was number four. Pansy is not on here. So we've got Tulip, Rose, Daisy, Lily. What else? Oh, a poppy is good. Carnation was not on there. Oh, a lady slipper. That's a good one. 
Not on there, though. Sunflower. You got it, Andrea. Sunflower. That was number five. The other one is Iris. Iris. They have a very distinctive shape. Thanks for joining us, Andrea. It's good to see you. You'll at least get to see me on the screen, right? We don't get to see each other in person, but you can see me on the screen. Works for me. So sunflower was the correct answer today. All right, our next piece. This is called Viva Vivacious. Viva Vivacious. So this one has double strands of chain coming off the pendant. The pendant is a round hammered silver. It has a purple bead. It's kind of a medium purple. Purple oval bead laying in the bottom of this round pendant. Our earrings are that same purple in a round bead on a silver fish hook back. Put it on Linda and see how it looks. So this one's going to hang a little over a quarter inch below that collar. So you don't have a lot of room between that and the collar. But you can use that two inch extension. That's going to bring it down to here. So that pendant is then going to hang right about here, just above the bust. So I just have one of these. Just one. This is Viva Vivacious. You want the coral set? Absolutely. We'll put you down for that. Andrea would like the coral set. Number six. And um, when you get done, just send me a private message with your email address. That's all I need from you. Let me put this one on the white bust because it's going to show up a little bit better since it's a darker color. There we go. All right. This one is Modern Masquerade. This is in purple. This is a plummy purple. So the plummy purple has a little bit of a red tint to it which makes it a little different than an actual purple. But these are faceted upside down teardrop beads in that plummy color. They're in a silver frame. We have little oval beads above them in that plummy color as well. The earrings are little ovals in that plum color on a silver fish hook back. We have two of these available. Did I tell you the name of this, Caitlin? Okay. Making sure I give her the name so she can put it in the sheet. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're going to be able to drop it down right about here. So it's going to hang between mid chest and your bust if you use that whole two inch extension. This one is Modern Masquerade in purple. You want one of these, Andrea? Got it. It's going to be number seven. This one's number seven. So we've got one more. This is why you have to love $5 jewelry, right? This is why I love it. Makes it very accessible to everyone. This one is actually one of my favorite styles. We've had this in several colors. Now it's in a black and silver. So it's a nice classic neutral look that you can wear with a lot of different things, which is why I like the black. But we have two chains in between. So this is a four layer necklace. Hi, Daisy. Four layer necklace. Two of them are chain and then two of them have the black beads. This one has black beads in the round shape. They have these cute little flower caps on the bottom of them. I don't know if you can see those. I think those are a nice little touch. And then we have crystal type black beads as well. So it adds a little sparkle. This one has the opaque black beads. Okay, number seven to mom as well. So that one's sold out. This one has the opaque black beads on a silver fish hook back as earrings. But being that they're black, you could switch those earrings out and wear it with almost anything. Or even a pair of silver hoops. I keep a set of hoops in every metal so that at the very least, I can switch my earrings out for another set of hoops. 
So this one, that top one is at the collar. So right around your collarbone area. That last one drops down into the mid chest with your two inch extension. You're going to be able to bring that all down. So it's going to hang between mid chest and your bust. I have four of these available. This one's called Rockin' Rocket. So it's even got a cool name, right? Rockin' Rocket in black. And this one is number eight. And if you'd like a little bit smaller black one, I have one of these. This one is called Brags to Riches. Brags to Riches. So this is black crystal type beads, a little bit larger ones, mixed in with the silver crystal type beads. And then they have smaller versions of the black and silver type beads. Crystal type beads mixed in our earrings are crystal type beads in black as well. So when I say crystal, they have all the little facets on them like a crystal would. The earrings are on a silver fish hook back. This one hangs down about an inch and a half from that neckline with the two inch extension. It's gonna sit right here at the top of the bust. So this one is Bragg's to Riches. And it is number nine. We've got a Brandon lurking in the background. He's pretending like he's typing in here. We don't let him work. I'm picking on Caitlin because she's working. Yes, she is. Caitlin works hard. Work it, Caitlin. Work it, work it, work it, Caitlin, work it, work it. <laughs> he's just excited to see his sister working. My favorite sibling right here. High five. All right. <laughs> this one <laughs> is Catwalk Queen. Um sold eight and I don't understand what two have sold one. What do you mean? Kimberly, you want two of number one? What was number one? I don't even remember. Diva Dazzle. Did you want two of that one? Okay, but she wants number eight. So let's, let's uh, verify what she wants there. All right, this is Catwalk Queen. Catwalk Queen, so these are seed beads. Okay, yes. She wants two of number one. So that one is sold out. Very pretty black, shiny seed beads. Yes. I would love to tell him no harassing to help. He won't listen anyway, Shannon. You know how he is. He's the older brother. He has to harass everybody. So are on this monofilament wire. So it's very clear, kind of like fishing line. Clear. So if this doesn't lay right once you've got it home, you can use a cool hair dryer on this and it will soften this wire a little bit and you can rearrange it however you like. Sometimes shipping will reform them a little bit, especially with the heat right now. So if you get it and it's like that, just use your hair dryer on it. But this is multiple strands of those pretty black shiny beads. I just have one of these. The earrings are double loops in a teardrop shape of those same black seed beads on a fish hook back. I like this one because it looks so classy. This one's about a quarter inch below that collar. You can see it kind of hangs in a bib shape. You do still have the two inch extension. So if you want to bring it down some, that's going to bring it down to about here and it's going to lay over the bust. So you're going to have it right here instead of up in the upper chest. This one is Catwalk Queen. You can be the Catwalk Queen without having a catwalk. Look at that. It is number 10. So just one of number 10. All right. It's time for Family Feud again. Let's see. What are we going to do today? Oh dear. We have too many options for that one. <laughs> Number 10 to Kimberly. You're not going to be sorry about that. That is a beautiful necklace, Kimberly. My mom bought the one that I had in dark blue and it's gorgeous. Hi, Carla. And I had it in gold at one time too. 
All of them have been beautiful. All right, we're gonna take answer number four out of six on this family feud question. The person who wins it gets to have an extra entry into our drawing for a free piece of jewelry at the end of the show. By the way, I think Sheila's not on tonight, but she is the one that won um, yesterday. We did do the drawing and I forgot to announce it. Hi, Becky, good to see you. So Sheila won the free piece yesterday. We'll see who wins it today. Name a sound people hear in the morning. A sound people hear in the morning. We're gonna take answer number four out of six. Birds, that was number two. The rooster was number three, That's a whole different bird. Toothbrush, that was not on there, but that's a good one. We all have electric toothbrushes now. Car doors, horns, that's not on there. The mailman, what kind of mailman do you have, Becky? Ours doesn't come that early in the day. Train, snoring, snoring is not on there. The shower, traffic, traffic is good. They mention a specific type of traffic. Bacon frying, that would wake me up. The coffee pot was number five. Coffee perking. Grunts, grunts and groans usually here. <laughs> the TV, the cat, the dog, the horn, sprinklers, trains, children, talking. Oh, we haven't gotten number four yet. It's another one that I do frequently, not only in the morning. Especially if I've been sitting a little while. Trucks using the Jake Bright. That's close to what number six is. Number six is talking about the garbage trucks. So the garbage trucks, yeah. That's another one. We still haven't not gotten number four. What's the first thing you usually do when you wake up? The first sound you make. Yawn. There you go, Marjorie. Yawning. I see Daisy got it now too. Very good. Yeah, the shower wasn't on here. Isn't that usually what you hear first? I mean, normally I don't hear Max when he first wakes up. He gets up pretty quietly, but the first thing he does is go into the bathroom and takes a shower. So I usually hear the shower running. That was not on our list. We're going to need to get new people to do these surveys. All right. Okay. This one is Prairie Promenade. Just have one of these left. And Becky, I checked, there's no air bubbles in this one. This is a purple flower pressed inside clear acrylic with a silver frame around the outside. It has a silver chain. And then our earrings are the delicate silver chain tassels on a fish hook back. I just have one of these in the purple. I do have some pink that I'll show you in just a second. It does match my blouse, doesn't it? So this one's about an inch and a half below that collar. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down even further. It's gonna sit right here in the middle of the bust. So I'll show you that one up close in just a second. But I also have that one in pink. It's not a pansy flower. Let me show, you, show it to you up close, Becky. They look similar to daisies to me. So this is the pink version. I do have two in the pink, but I only have one in the purple. I do have one of those for you, Shannon. You and Violet pre-ordered them, so I have those. This is what it looks like up close, Becky. It reminds me more of a daisy. So this is what they look like up close. This is called, you already have one, Violet, <laughs> Prairie Promenade in pink two of those available or in purple one available number 11. sharon says she hear, hears the music from cnn first thing every morning because that's what her husband turns on all right this one is vivid vibes in green this is a pretty dark green 
they're calling it on my color chart jalapeno green so this is a jalapeno green so about the color of the outsides of the jalapenos opaque beads we have silver rippled discs so these are not completely flat the polished silver beads the earrings are the polished silver beads as well i have two of these available for that outfit that you just need jalapenos for so you can look hot caitlin thinks that's a terrible joke this one is just below the collar with the two inch extension you can get it down here it's gonna be about mid chest so this one is vivid vibes in green two of these available and it's number 12. number 13 this one is omega oasis omega oasis let me get that straight here here we go so these are the white crackle beads in a scalloped shape setting so we have three scallops there this is hinged plates so that it'll lay flat against your chest yes mom jokes we have to get them with those right marlo it's our job to torture our children with these things Max gets them with the dad jokes too. And then I feed him extra dad jokes. So when I read them, I go ahead and tell him so that he can tell the dad jokes. The earrings are also the white crackle beads on a fish hook back. These are little teardrop shaped beads set in the, um, in the pendant here. Some round crackle beads as well. So this one is going to sit just about a quarter inch below that collar. These sides going along the collarbones with the two inch extension you're going to be able to bring that down and it's going to sit right in here so this one is omega oasis in white i have three of these available it's going to be number 13. Number 14, I have in two colors. So I have one in gold and two in silver. This is called Prime Prowess. Prime Prowess. So I call these egg-shaped pieces because it's kind of what they look like to me. Hammered abstract egg-shaped pieces or ovals in the center here. These are all hinged as well. I like that because it lays flat against your chest bones, your breastbone. The earrings are those small egg shapes as well in a hammered gold on a fish hook back. This one does not fit well on Linda's neck because of the bars on the side. She's not as pliant as we are. So this is where it's going to sit. It's actually going to sit along your collarbone right up in here, kind of just below choker length. But you do have the two inch extension so you can drop this down it's going to bring it down about here to here so it will take up the whole mid chest region so one in gold i do have two in the silver as well so these are prime prowess just gonna get it off of her she didn't want to give it back. Prime prowess in silver or in gold. Number 14. And one long necklace in this set. This one is called Practical Prairie in orange. Silver number 14 to Liz. You got it. This one's called Practical Prairie. This one is set in an antique brass, both silver and gold, 14 to Kimberly. So that one is sold out. So we have an antique brass setting. Kind of looks like the um, antique picture frames with a little studded or a dot motif around the outside. Bright orange bead in the center. Our earrings are oval bright orange beads as well on a brass fish hook back 
So they've mixed the darker metal with a brighter orange bead. This one's about half an inch from the bottom of this dropped waist. So with a two inch extension, that's gonna drop it down into the lower abdomen here, lower belly. This one may be able to be passed through a second time in this loop. So if you wanted to double it, I believe you're gonna be able to do that and wear it up here with the double chain. Or you can always fasten your fish hook back right into the chain in one of these links and customize that length. So this one is Practical Prairie in orange, just one of these available, number 15. All right, let's go to our next question. Ooh, let's do that one. I turned it over and I kind of like the question on the back. Let's do answer number five on this one. Answer number five. Name a children's story that takes place in the woods. A children's story that takes place in the woods. Let's see what you've got. Who knows their children's stories? <laughs> Hansel and Gretel's number two. That's a good one. Little Red Riding Hood was number one. Red Robin Hood, that was number four. Snow White was the right answer. Mom got that one first, it looks like. We're only missing one. What else takes place in the woods? Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you've got it. Goldilocks. So we got all five answers. That means everybody knows their children's stories well. Congratulations. We have now passed nursery rhymes, a fairy tale stage. <laughs> After you hear them so much when the kids are little and you, you read them, or when you were little and they were read to you, it's hard to forget, isn't it? All right. This next one is called Naturally Nirvana. Naturally Nirvana. So we have a silver tree, and it is in a circular pendant. The leaves of this tree are made up by small crushed rock. So it has some, some purpley pieces in here and some greenish kind of like a beach glass color. And then some of them are almost transparent. So this is a longer pendant. This is my last remaining one. The earrings are the purplish stones. On a fish hook back, hi Terry. Yes, you got this one. You like that, Becky? I thought it was cool, too. I like that they put the crushed rock in there. So I'll show that to you up close in just a second. This one hangs in the mid-abdomen. Um, it does have a sliding chain or the movable chain. doesn't have a thing big enough to hook through it to go twice, but you could take the lobster clasp and just hook into one of the links in the chain and bring that up if you'd like it to be a shorter necklace, or you can take some of the chain out of it and make it permanently shorter. So this is what it looks like up close. So it's got some greenish and some purple, along with kind of a white. Bye, Sharon. This one is called Naturally Nirvana in multi, number 16. Only have one of these as well. It was part of a fashion fix. This is called Rancho Romer. Rancho Romer. So in the center, we have that oval crackle stone, blue crackle stone. Around the outside, we have oval shaped orange, or they're kind of a light orange crackle stone. Makes like a flower pendant, the earrings are the oval blue crackle stones on a fish hook back. This is the length, so about mid abdomen. With the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring it down here closer to this dropped waist. So if you want it to be longer, you can do that. 
It does have a fairly large loop at the top. You may. Okay. Just in case you fall off, we know you, what happened to you. Don't fall off any cliffs, okay? You may be able to pass it through this loop again and double it. If not, it's got a nice large gauge chain, so you can definitely fasten into that chain and make it a short necklace. I need to take that pin off. Linda. Things keep trying to get caught back there. She's trying to hang on to the jewelry. This is Rancho Romer. Also in multi. Number 17. You're not going to fall off of the um, car, are you, Becky? This is number 18. This is called Very Visionary in green. This is a pretty Kelly green. They are transparent beads as well as a few opaque beads that are round. We have the large hoops and some little kind of diamond shaped hoops as well. Connecting all these beads together. I have two of these. The earrings are the opaque green beads on a fish hook back. This is the way it hangs. So it is slightly asymmetrical, especially down here in the bottom. Up here at the top, it's a little bit less. But your pattern starts right up here by the neck, which is really nice for Zoom. Oh, it's pouring there. We're going to get it tomorrow. That We're going to get the remnants of Elsa. So tomorrow around midday, it's supposed to rain pretty much all day. This one is about a half an inch above this dropped waist with a two inch extension. It's going to come down here into the lower belly because it is asymmetrical. You can also double this one. I would probably use the extension if I were going to double it just because it's going to give you a little bit more room up in the top. So that's what it would look like doubled. You could do two of basically the same length. You can do two of different lengths. I like to layer them like this and have doubles. But this one I have two of. It is called Very Visionary. And this is a Kelly Green, number 18. Number 19, this is my last one of this one. My favorite color that royal blue, or I guess some people call it cobalt. I don't really know the difference between cobalt and royal. They look pretty close to me, but this is the moonstone. So this is rounded square moonstone with a little, I'm gonna call it scroll type, scroll type silver frame. That little clip up on top holding it on is encrusted with white rhinestones. The earrings are those blue moonstone beads as well on a fish hook back. You would like this one, Andrea? You've got it. So that's gonna be number 19, Caitlin. This one is hanging down sort of around the belly button area. So with the two inch extension, you could bring it down to just below this dropped waist. You'll hear me say that moonstones are one of my favorite stones. And that is because of the color variation in these. Look at this stone. So depending on how you turn it, it looks different. Some of these have the cat's eye in it. That's what cat's eye is. It is moonstone that actually has a streak down the middle that looks like the cat's eye. This one does not have that cat's eye in it, but it is the moonstone. So this one is number 19. It is called Effervescent Elegance, and it now belongs to Andrea. I found out so many things that I didn't know I liked when I started doing this job because I really did. I wasn't into jewelry all that much. So I didn't know about all the different styles and stones and things that were out there. And I've really found that I like more things than I thought I did. That's always nice. This one I'm trying to hold up because it's going to fall down on me. This is Alpha Attitude. 
This is in black metal. So it's not a jet black. It's kind of like a dark charcoal black. We have the chevron shaped pendant here with the geometric design in it, followed by a black tassel in metal. I have two of these. Kind of reminds me of the Transformers symbol down here. The earrings that are with it are also those black tassels. So we call this almost black or nearly black. This is the way that it hangs on Linda. So the bottom of this fringe actually goes down past the dropped waist with the two inch extension. I'm gonna be able to bring it down even further. So the top of it's gonna be right here and then the bottom of it closer to down here. Or you can fasten in this chain. You can only make it a little bit shorter because of the type of necklace it is, but you could bring it up about the bust length and shorten it that way. So let me rearrange my little tassels here. This one is called Alpha Attitude. Two of these available. It is number 20. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. You're just in time for a family feud question. So we're at number, number 21 is going to be next. So you missed 20 pieces in case you want to go back and see the rest of them. Let's see. All right, let's do answer number four on this one. Yes, a safety pin you can also use as well. Um, we're talking about those symmetrical necklaces that don't have the sliding pendant on the chain. You can use a small safety pin and just pin each side in closer. So have the safety pin go in between the two sides. It works perfectly. Um, we're going to go with answer number four on this one. Name something you hate about going to the movies these days. Well, right now we're not going to the movies, but if you were going, what is one thing you hate about going to the movies now? The prices was number one. They're really high, aren't they? Noisy people. It's number three. The crowds is number two. The ads. Carol, you got it. See, you came in just in time. The ads. We have one more that we haven't gotten. Expensive concessions. That's good. What else? There's another thing that tends to be too loud. And I have problems with this one because I can't stand loud things. So the movie's too loud. Yes, the movie, the actual movie, they turn it up so high. Yes, especially if there's music or if there's sound effects in it, it can be really, really loud. Can't stand that. It almost ruins the movie for me. I'm just getting old. That's all it is. It's fine. All right. Our next one. And this is Desert Equinox. This is the yellow version. I do also have the bright red version but this is the yellow version. Just have one of these in yellow. It is the crackle stone. You can see all that nice veining in that stone in the center. It's like a lemony yellow stone. Yeah, my ears are very sensitive anyway, and I have allergies, and for some reason that makes them more sensitive when they tend to be a little bit stopped up. Instead of them being muffled, they get more sensitive, they hurt. This is, I feel like this is a compass style. That's what it reminds me of. So this frame that it's in kind of reminds me of a compass. You see that nice big loop at the top. So that would be great for doubling this over. 
these um, longer necklaces never like to stay on the bust. The chains slip right down off. So the earrings are the round yellow crackle beads as well on a fish hook back. This one hangs down. You can see the dropped waist kind of passes right through the center of it. So this is a really long necklace with the two inch extension. It's going to go down here into the belly area. Again, it has that nice large round um, loop at the top. So it would be really easy to double this over. Doubling it is going to bring it up about here. Things are just getting hooked today. All right, this is Desert Equinox. And the yellow crackle bead, just one of these available. It's going to be number 21. Number 22. This is Glow and Steady Wins the Race. Number 21 to Liz. These are transparent black teardrop beads. They start small at the top and get larger toward the bottom. Hung along a black chain. The earrings are a little, I don't know what I want to call these, kite shaped black beads. They're also transparent on a fish hook back. Just have one of these as well. This one hangs down almost to the dropped waist here. You just got a little bit of room there. And of course, it's going to lay better because you're going to be more careful with it than I do. <laughs> Putting it on another person is always hard. I would rearrange my stuff after I put it on. There we go. So with the two inch extension, you'd be able to bring it down into this lower belly area. This one, Glow and Steady, wins the race. And it is number 22. Number 23, also just have one of these backed into a corner in black. So we have the black metal have all these little squares. So you've got your corners. Some of the squares are doubled. Some of them are single. We've got a couple different sizes in here. Make a nice geometrical chain. It's hung by double chains up at the top. Our earrings are also those squares set on point. On a fish hook back, this is all black metal. This is how it would lay on Linda. So the squares start just above the bust, go right down here through the dropped waist. With the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to drop that down into the lower belly. So this one is backed into a corner in black. And it is number 23. You can go ahead and do the drawing, Caitlin, because we've just got a few things left. So I'm just going to go straight through. This one is Count de Zen in green. I just have one in this green color. So this is an army green or an olive green. It has oval beads set along the bottom. Okay. Little round green beads along the top. In this, it's kind of a crescent. It's almost a circle, but it's not a circle shaped pendant. The earrings are the army green or olive green opaque beads on a fish hook back. This one is going to hang just below the bust, but with your two inch extension, you could bring it down to where it's mid abdomen instead. So if you like that longer look, you might want to use that extension. This is count to Zen. In multi, not multi, green. The other one I had today was multi. Number 24. 
some days. Is it Friday yet? Anybody know what day it is? <laughs> I lose track. It's hard with the convention, right? I'm, we're doing the convention right now. It's making it a little harder to figure out what day it is. This one, this is a hair clip. This is a single hair clip. This is more of like the bobby pin style. So it's the hair clip that you just slide in. This is based on a gold base. And it has the creamy white pearls larger in the center and then smaller as you get out to the sides. I do have two of these available. So if you want a matching set, we can do that. This is the size. So I'm just going to show you compared to my head. A lot of times I'll pull my hair back just on one side. So these are great to do that with. It's called Elegantly Efficient in gold. This is number 25. Number 26, similar type of hair clip, but this one has pink rhinestones on it. So it's silver, little pink rhinestones that have an iridescent finish all along this, the top, the bar piece, and then a pink teardrop rhinestone at the end. Number 25 to Daisy. So this one's called Princess Precision in pink. This is the size of this one. So about like the other one. This one's number 26. And then we have a nice black and white. I call this a flower style because that's what it reminds me of. White with a black pattern on it. A little geometric pattern. It's fluffy like a flower. This is on the alligator style clip. So you could either use it up in the center of the head. I use these personally on the girls right above their ponytail. So like where mine is today, I would put it right here above the rubber band. They work really nicely for that. I do have two of these as well. It's called Vanguard Gardens in black. And this is the size. So that is going to be the end of this show. It's number 27. And we will be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Caitlin, for reminding me. She did the drawing. 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll have rings and bracelets. So we don't have a lot of time usually to show those on the show. So I will have rings and bracelets. And I have a set of little girls' bracelets that came in. So I'll do those with the bracelet show as well. So we'll do that at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Letitia, you were the winner for today. So you're going to get a free piece. Anyone who has not bought previously, please send me your email address in a private message so that I will be able to invoice you. I don't invoice until Monday, so you have all week so that you can combine shipping from all my weekly shows. So Monday I invoice, Tuesday I will send out the packages. Um, we also have another show back here Friday at 5 o'clock, so if you're not able to make the midday show, Maybe you can make the five o'clock on Friday show. Those will all be one and done, which means that I only have one of each piece. When it's gone, it is gone. I cannot restock those. Um, so it's your last chance. So I hope to see you either tomorrow or Friday. Thank you for spending some of your evening and afternoon with me. And I look forward to seeing you again. Bye. <laughs>